What's up everybody and welcome to the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan and if you are new here, thank you for joining us and if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at another dual wireless microphone, this time from AMK. This is the ARU999, it is a dual UHF wireless microphone system that uh, has a few unique features that I haven't seen before. You can actually plug additional mics and music right into the mic receiver unit itself, so you don't even need an external mixer for small applications. Uh, we're gonna talk today on this video about the build quality. I'm gonna unbox this and show you everything that's included with the microphone package. I will plug it in, demo it for you, so you can kind of get a rough estimate of how it sounds. I'll let you know my impressions as far as the uh, distance that this thing can cover. And we'll just go over all the specs and I'll tell you whether or not this is a good buy and I will compare it to some of the other models that I've looked at in the past. So without any further ado, let's dive into talking about the AMK ARU999. So the first thing that I do on this channel is I take a look at the packaging. Now this is not a company I've worked with before, so if I was seeing this for the first time, you know, I would be pretty impressed. Full color graphics, uh, you know, a very simple logo, but they've got the product right here. Uh, they've got a barcode on the side. You've got the same picture right here and uh, a little bit of text around the edges, nothing too crazy, uh, but I do like the fact that this isn't just in a plain cardboard box, box which a lot of the products that uh, I have received have been in. This, you know, looks somewhat professional and I like to see that. Now, you didn't come here for packaging, so we're going to open this up and talk about what is included in the box. So first things first, we're going to take off this foam. I'm going to hold this up so you can see it like that and some things are going to fall out but we will tell you about those right now first things first is the manual so the manual again it's uh not too thick but it's got the picture on the front and it has diagrams i love to see diagrams uh that's so much easier for people to walk through than just reading text and uh not too many spelling errors or anything like that so this is easy to understand and easy to follow which is good now what else fell out were the antenna or the antennae is that the correct word uh these two antenna i'm actually surprised these are i believe half wave length antenna that means that the antenna is longer than normal uh this is supposed to get better reception and clarity for the signal i actually bought half wave antenna for my main dj uh, microphone system and the fact that they included half waves instead of quarter waves which are a little bit shorter is really nice to see so right off the bat that makes a big impression on me um, I'm gonna take out the mic receiver unit itself and one theme when I first unboxed this unit that really struck me was the weight this is hefty. I have taken a look at recently a few microphone systems that were very cheap plastic and felt like they could crack at any moment. This is hefty. This feels professional. It's metal. Like you can hear that all metal design. Uh, the knobs are plastic, but other than that, the casing is metal and I like the way it feels in my hand. We'll take a look at it real close. Um, I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. You can see that you've got in addition to the two wireless microphones, you can plug in two quarter inch microphones right here. You have volume knobs across the front for all four microphones, as well as a volume knob for the music input on the back, which I'm gonna show you. There's also a knob for echo, so you can add a little bit of reverb echo if you're using these for karaoke. It's not gonna be the most high quality effect in the world, but it's a little bit of sauce. You know, someone that's buying this is probably on a budget, and so again, you don't have to buy an effects processor, you don't have to buy a mixer with effects. They included a little bit on the unit itself. Taking a look at the back, you're gonna see your two spots to screw on your antennas. You've got your music in and music out right here. That's just a 3.5 millimeter headphone auxiliary input right there. Then you have your main output right there to send the audio to your speaker or another mixer if you choose to use one. And then you have your power input as well. I'm gonna set this back inside. Let me find the right way here. There we go. And uh, let's pull out the microphones themselves. Again, um, I really love how heavy these are. These are not uh, lightweight. They don't feel cheap in any manner. They feel uh, heavier and like they're worth more than they actually cost. So uh, all metal design up top here. This cap at the bottom is plastic. Um, you can kind of hear that when it unrolls, but metal, 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 a little bit of plastic right at the bottom. Uh, good weight to it. The switch right there has a mute position in the middle and then it also has an on position. So you've got a two-way sliding switch right there. That's a really easy 
uh, way for people to know whether the mic is live or not. Some of these mics we have to like click once, click twice, hold it to mute it, uh, way too convoluted. Uh, you can just move the switch to mute or to on, much easier for people to follow if they've never used a microphone before. So you've got two of these in here and they do include the batteries for the handheld units. That is nice to see. And then apart from the mics, we've got a few different cables and accessories. We've got our power cord, which is just a, a DC, AC to DC wall wart right here. Uh, nice long cable, uh, surprisingly long. So you can space this out from the wall if you need to. I'm not gonna put that in right now. You've also got an aux cable to plug your music into this. So one less thing you have to buy. And then you have your main audio out cable. This is a one quarter inch mono tip sleeve cable, uh, probably three, feet, maybe two feet there, not very long, not as long as the power cord, of course, but again, you're probably gonna put this right on your speaker or near your mixer. So that's everything that's included in the box. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about spec-wise is the frequencies. This is a set frequency. You can't change what frequencies the mics are, so you can't scan for availables. Um, it, for home use, that's not really a big deal. Professionals like to have options as far as changing the frequency if there's interference at their venue. Uh, if you buy these and they work in your home, they're probably gonna be fine for perpetuity unless you get a lot of wireless interference in your house. Uh, but they are in the US range of frequencies. I believe they offer different ranges, but this one is 568 megahertz for mic A, we can call this mic A. And then mic B is also in the 500 megahertz. I can't remember the exact number. Uh, 546 megahertz. So uh, they're spaced far enough apart they shouldn't interfere with each other and hopefully they won't interfere with anything um, you know, in your home or wherever you decide to use these. Now I'm gonna move these off the table. I'm gonna bring a speaker over and then we're gonna plug it in and test them so you can hear how they sound. All right, so I've pulled over my trusty American Audio APX12 Go BT. Whew, that's a mouthful, but this is an amazing battery powered PA speaker. You can check out my review on this on the channel, but I'm gonna plug this in right now. I've already got the receiver unit plugged into power and I've already got it switched on. I'm just gonna take the audio cable and plug that in the back. And then I'm just gonna swing the speaker around and plug this into the microphone input on the back, okay? Now I'm gonna put this microphone volume, mm, probably just at maybe a third. So now I'm just going to use the volume on the receiver unit. This would be mic channel C. I'm just gonna start bringing up that volume and talking to this. Check, 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 testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Uh, the sound is very full. The lows and mids uh, are probably stronger than I would have expected out of a cheap mic. Usually cheap microphones are uh, a little thin in the low range, but this has plenty of good low range. Here, let me keep bringing that up. Check, 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 test, one, two. No feedback, even though the speaker is right here. Uh, hopefully you can hear that. That sounds actually very good. I'm, I'm impressed. Let's try out this, uh, this echo knob here and see how that sounds. Check, check, testing, testing. Let me keep bringing that up. Check, 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 check. So it's definitely like a delay. Hold on, I'll bring that down. It's like a delay, so that would be something you'd hear, like an echo in a stadium, like, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Not so much a, a subtle reverb. Uh, so it's strong. You can adjust how much effect you add. So check, check. That's a little bit lower. Kind of goes away quicker. And then if you jack it all the way up, hello, hello. You get tons and tons of echo. So you can adjust that to your liking. Uh, as far as the speaking distance, I can go out to right here. Does definitely not definitely does not pick up as much as when I'm right on the microphone. Uh, you want to have a very close distance. This is applicable to any microphone, but the closer to your mouth, the better. Uh, if someone's holding it out here, it's not going to pick up much at all. So it's not very sensitive. Keep it close to your mouth talking off access is not going to do anything you want it right here. But as far as sound quality, uh, that sounds great. And combined with the really hefty build quality and the uh, really sturdy all metal receiver unit and four channels with a music input, this is a slam dunk in my opinion. I think you can't go wrong with one of these. I've reviewed a lot of microphones, dual UHF systems for under a hundred bucks. And uh, they all have their strong suits. For me, the pros of this unit, construction and sound quality, ease of use and number of channels you can mix. Uh, cons, I'm not afraid to talk about the negatives in this product. I don't like that you can't switch audio channels. Again, for the casual user, it's probably not the end of the world if you buy this and you have tons of interference where you live. Uh, just 
return it and get a different uh, frequency range. But honestly, this is crystal clear. And uh, when I did some testing earlier, went out to 50 feet, no problems. And for the audience, I'm intending uh, that this is probably intended for, excuse me, uh, I think that's going to be more than enough. I see this as super great for at-home karaoke. I see this as a great option for a recreation center that needs to make some announcements occasionally for um, maybe a new mobile DJ, a young mobile DJ that is just trying to get something to get off the ground. Uh, this is probably worth experimenting with. Now, one of the things, there's a little bit of handling noise. You hear that? And that's uh, pretty normal with more low-end microphones. Um, honestly, I can deal with that. You know, if I'm holding the microphone and not like squirming, you don't you don't really hear it if I'm just holding it like this. So. Uh, Handling noise is not that big of a deal for me, but maybe it is for you. But this gets my recommendation uh, of the dual UHF microphones I've reviewed. I would probably opt for this one most of the time, unless, again, I really wanted the selectable frequency. So if you want to pick up one of these systems for yourself, I will put the link down in the description. You can buy through there and support the channel. And of course, I would love you for it. If you're not a subscriber, consider becoming one. Awesome tech reviews and overview videos come out on this channel every week. I've been on a roll lately and haven't missed any weeks, so make sure you stick around and like this video, comment, let me know what you want to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.